Now this illustration deals with the metal water piping system in general where it's not considered an electrode. In accordance with NEC 250.104A1 through A4. Now notice we have non-metallic uh, conduit uh, water piping system uh, that's coming in from the utility. We do not have 10 feet or more of metal conduit in the earth as uh, illustrated and outlined in uh, 250.52A1 uh, in the code. So uh, the note now is very important. The note says a metal water pipe can be connected to any electrodes in accordance with 250.104C1 through C4, but it's not an electrode. And you can also just ground to it anywhere in the system where it's accessible. You don't have to go back uh, and connect the grounding electrode conductor within five foot where it enters the building. Now, uh, a water pipe needs to be supplemented in many cases. So look at the driven uh, rod to the left and notice it's a grounding electrode selected and qualified as a grounding electrode in accordance with 250.52A as in Apple 5. And notice 250.104A1 through A4 should be reviewed. 250.53A, B, and G should be uh, reviewed. And then you'd need to look at 250.53A2 exception because we need a 25 ohm or less or you'd have to drive another driven rod or uh, provide a means for that driven rod uh, to measure 25 ohms or less because it's supplementing the water pipe in some manner as the code calls for. Now, uh, just, uh, just, just remember this by looking at the call-out information uh, that has an arrow pointing to the grounding electrode conductor and the information in the call-out states Grounding electrode conductor shall be permitted to be connected to the metal water pipe in any accessible location. Only now, when it's not considered an electrode having 10 feet or more of it in the earth. So that's what this figure 16-103A is illustrating, is when the metal water pipe system has been converted to metal, from a non-metallic system, and we're looking at the requirements of 250.104A1 through A4, and that's what figure 16-103A is illustrating.